Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are talking right now with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. We're previewing a handful of games from uh, Week 7 in college football, and Joe Duffy's had an impressively winning record, taking only games that I ask him to take, and some of these lines are very tough. And this one that we're going to talk about right now, Illinois, Wisconsin, perfect example of that. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Thanks for being back with us. Thank you, Peter. All right, Illinois, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, 24 and a half point home favorite. This is probably going to be a pass for me. It's one of these games where I feel bad that you have to take a side here, but uh, we'll see what you have to say about it. Before we get to it, give a plug for OffshoreInsiders.com. Once again, the site where you give your premium picks, the site where you have your picks, where you actually do believe like you have a big edge. Yeah, now whether or not this is the time that we can brag so much about the short-term results, not so much, but Joe Duffy's picks going back to 1988. The uh, winning streaks have always outnumbered and outlasted the losing streaks and still ahead for the year going back to preseason college and pro football combined. We've got a huge weekend led by our college football game of the year already up and we're really about 20% done our research. So it's going to be a big weekend. All right, sounds good. When you say it's going to be a big weekend, I tend to trust you, Joe Duffy. Probably Illinois, Wisconsin, though, is not going to be part of that big weekend. I'm just guessing here, right? Wisconsin, a 24-and-a-half-point home favorite. Wisconsin, 1-4 uh, ATS on the year, but, but Illinois is 1-5 against the spread on the year. Uh, and Wisconsin's, of course, off a straight-up loss, and their one cover this year was in a home game with a very sim almost identical line to uh, this one against Bowling Green, and they covered that one by more than 20. Illinois lost by 25 at Washington and by 31 at Nebraska. So, you know, I could see maybe a lean on Wisconsin here at minus 24 and a half, but would that be a strong enough lean to want to bet it? Probably not. Scary line, probably going to be a pass for me. What's your take on this line, Joe Duffy? Yeah, now this is, yeah, I agree with you. You could make a little bit of an argument each way. Now, Wisconsin's a, two, a three and two straight up team, but one and four against the spread. That's starting to fit a little bit into what we like to call our dichotomous straight up and ATS team where a team is a good straight up record but a bad spread record or vice versa and we have found out over the years riding that spread streak is very good because the odds makers and the markets don't completely over just because we've always said that straight up record is the most overrated when it comes to handicapping. Now uh, Illinois I am going to go with uh, Illinois plus the points in this game but I'm a little bit nervous because their two toughest opponents were Washington and Nebraska. They lost by 20 25 and 31, and uh, both of those games they missed covering by double digits. So we like to look at teams, you know, we call them Peter Principal teams. Sometimes they play the best against the worst teams, but when they're playing against a superior team, they just get totally destroyed. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, Wisconsin, they're going to be using both of their uh, quarterbacks, Tanner McAvoy, uh, Tanner McAvoy and Joel Stave. They're both being used here, but the reason is, is because neither one of them has won the job. They're both kind of mediocre. And I actually look for Wisconsin to continue to try to develop a passing game. Now, at first glance, when you're going with a big underdog, you want the other team usually to run the ball. But not really in this case. Wisconsin, that takes their strength is running the ball. But Wisconsin, I actually believe, even if they have a big lead, they're going to go away from their strength, looking at their bigger picture, trying to develop a passing game. And I do think this is a game that has... Uh, possible backdoor written mm -hmm, all over right. because Wisconsin really has to develop some type of passing game, and that is not their strength. Plus, Illinois, they're, they're a pretty good passing team. They get eight yards per pass to, to teams normally only allowing 7.2. So, you know, especially if they need a touchdown to cover and they, they're getting four downs, they're going to go for it. They're, they're a very dangerous team. So I know a lot of people, myself included, we hate when we get backdoored, but I'm actually calling for it worse, hmm. a backdoor cover here, because I think just the way both teams will play, it means the backdoor is wide open, and hopefully, yeah. you know, the game will be much closer, and we don't even have to sweat it, but Illinois is my play. For sure. The backdoor could be wide, wide open in this one. I learned that lesson. Uh, I bet West Virginia minus 24 against Kansas last week, and oh. uh, in retrospect, I don't know, probably on paper was a good bet, but the backdoor was wide open, and Kansas wound up getting a backdoor cover on that one. That could happen here. All right, Joe Duffy, so you're going to lean Illinois Illinois plus 24 and a half. I don't usually do this, but because we usually want to pick from you, we have your lean. If you want to just pass on this one, we won't put it down on your permanent record. Or if you actually want to go with Illinois plus 24 and a half, we can uh, put this down as an official pick. No, we'll, we'll put it down as an official pick. And yeah, if you want to talk about backdoors, I had as many last weekend as I've ever had. Oh. It was excruciating. I had Wake Forest. I had Stanford. I oh. had uh, Mich Michigan State. It was just oh. it was as bad of a weekend as I've ever had, honestly. I had West Virginia. That was the yeah. ultimate backdoor. Minus 24, same line as this game. All right, Joe Duffy uh, liking the uh, possibility of a backdoor cover here with Illinois, Wisconsin. He's going to take Illinois plus 24 and a half. Thanks, Joe. 
The SBR network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.